Football Kenya Federation is scheduled to hold a special general meeting on the 29th of this month and top on its agenda will be replacing the suspended vice chairperson Sami Shulei, Nairobi branch chairperson Dan Shikanda and Mombasa Nek representative Hussein Terry will take the center stage. Sholei, who was suspended shortly after taking office by the executive, was again on the 27th June of this year banned for six years from taking part in any football activities in the country while Hussein Terry was banned for a lifetime. It, it was shocking because um, we, we had done a lot of um, uh, appeals at the arbitration, but it seems like the Federation never took it seriously. In a bid to find justice, the former Kenyan international has been in and out of all relevant offices, including Ministry for Sports, Art and Culture, and nothing has been forthcoming. I've done a lot of SMSs to the, to the minister. I have actually called the minister. I have WhatsApped the minister. But there's never a single day that he has, he has answered my, my, my questions or even uh, texted back. After reporting the matter to the higher office in Zurich, FIFA directed the trio to solve the problem locally and soon enough, the federation led by its president Sam Nyamwea was at the Integrity Center to answer allegations of corruption and misappropriation of funds. With investigations said to be ready, Kenyans are looking up to the Chief Justice Willy Mutunga to give his verdict. As we speak right now, the case is closed as, as, as per um, the reports from, from ESCC. Uh, the files have been submitted to the DPP. Lack of a sports dispute tribunal in place, which is supposed to be constituted and gazetted by the sports ministry, has been dragging efforts to find a common ground in solving squabbles within and around FKF. Without the tribunal, Mr. Shulei took the matter to the National Olympic Committee Dispute Tribunal that has since ordered that the said 29th of September special meeting to replace the banned officials be put on hold. However, the orders fell on deaf ears as members of the Federation categorically stated they are not under the local tribunal but FIFA. Uh, the president precisely um, was heard saying that uh, the Federation only reports to FIFA. With that said, the band officials have five days to stop the special AGM and are hoping against hope that the court will intervene by Monday. Few months ago, a different group known as Friends of Football in Kenya voiced their dissatisfaction in the way football matters are being run in the country, cries that came hot on the heels of the national team oust from the African Cup of Nations qualifiers. The briefing, though, ended drastically after Sam Nyamwe's men claiming to be stakeholders interrupted in a bid to protect the president. These same men are seen everywhere, especially in controversial political gatherings. That's the state of football in the country, and if any help will be forthcoming, only time will tell. Florence Dongo, GBS News.